How do you feel about the fact that you are being described so much lately as the world's poorest president? No, pobres son los que me describen. Eh, pobre, mi definición es la de Seneca. Pobres son los que precisan mucho. Porque si precisa mucho, es insaciable. Yo soy sobrio, no pobre. Eh, liviano de equipaje. Vivir con poco. Con lo imprescindible. Presidents. El presidente. Presidente. Presjevnik. O presidente. Whoever you want to call them are ruling over the little man. They are not as bold, as courageous, and as just as the presidents that we've had before. Of course, we had the likes of Castro of Cuba, General Zia of Pakistan, King Faisal of Saudi, Mossadegh of Iran, Allende of Chile, Lamumba of Congo, Jamal Abdul Nasser of Egypt, and the list goes on. The leaders that we have today, if they are not marrying their own teachers, Figuring out how to open doors. <laughs> Failing at spelling simple words like strength. S stands for spirituality. T stands for tradition, trade and technology. R say relationship. E say entertainment. Battling 20 sexual misconduct allegations and doing it with pigs, they are lining their pockets at the expense of you and me. Every now and then there rises a leader who becomes a beacon for the others. He doesn't last very long and is normally assassinated under mysterious circumstances. But here I'd like to talk about a modern day leader who's only stopped his presidency in 2015. No, he's not a Muslim, he's not a Christian, he's actually an atheist. What's remarkable about Jose Mojica? I'm pretty sure I pronounced that totally wrong. But this guy was the president of Uruguay from 2010 to 2015. He was nicknamed the world's poorest president. Why? Because he gave 90% of his wealth to charity. In fact, he spent up to 14 years in prison before becoming the president. Solitary confinement, mate. He had to do a lot to keep himself sane. He used that solitude and was able to build himself, build his character, know his strengths and weaknesses. And when he came out, he came out as a better man. Más de 10 años de soledad en el calabozo. Y tuvimos tiempo, tuvimos 7 años sin leer un libro. Y tuvimos mucho tiempo para pensar. Y descubrimos esto. O logras ser feliz con poco y liviano de equipaje, porque la felicidad está dentro tuyo. O no logras nada. Lives on his farm with his wife. The camera crews of Al Jazeera didn't have enough space mate. His car, a simple VW Volkswagen Beetle, a really old one mate. He picks up random hitchhikers. During his time, salaries were raised, unemployment was down. In fact, the literacy rates were over 98%. I think it's very refreshing when we have examples like Jose Mojica in this day and age because honestly if somebody told me someone like this exists there's no chance on earth that I'd believe him. If a person without any faith can do this, imagine someone who believes in Allah and the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam how he has the fear and love of Allah in his heart and or her heart and they not do better than this? We need to stop saying all oh, the times are like this, you can't like, live like this anymore. Here is a guy who's shown us it is possible guys. Let's reflect on the life of this simple 
old, slightly big, amazing individual. A small country that led the way for other Latin American countries. O tú, no lo compras con plata. Lo compras con el tiempo de vida que tuviste que gastar para tener esa plata. Y, y no estar muy atado al sostenimiento de cuestiones materiales. ¿Por qué? Para tener más tiempo. Más tiempo libre. Para poder hacer qué? Las cosas que me gustan. La libertad es hacer, tener tiempo para vivir. And until next time, guys. Salamu alaikum.